I know, I know that I did a video on this one bit LLMs just yesterday, but I cannot get enough of this amazing research because the more I read it, the more possibilities and more advantages I could think of. That is why I just thought of doing this video as I'm also getting a lot of questions around what exactly is this one bit thing and what exactly this ternary architecture is. The thing is that in very, very simple words, what is happening is that if this all comes to fruition and we might have something like homemade GPUs and even you'd be able to run huge models like 70 billion Llama or even Falcon 120, 30 billion models on your homemade GPUs or very, very commodity software, even on CPUs. I mean, if you if whatever this is heralding is true and come to life like ternary architecture then we might be able to run any llm on our any device so which will be amazing as you can see if you're following my videos you might have appreciated that how hard it even becomes for me to run the uh, you know sort of 70 billion models or even less on uh, GPUs with 32 GB of VRAM which are very very expensive at the moment so if all this becomes true we will be able to run these models very cheaply even for free now first let me briefly describe in very very simple words what exactly this ternary architecture or ternary computing is this concept of ternary computing involves a computer architecture that uses ternary logic instead of the traditional binary logic used in most modern computers. In binary systems, the basic unit of information is the bit, which can have one of two possible values, 0 or 1. In contrast, a ternary system uses a trait or ternary digit as its basic unit of information, which can have one of three possible values, minus 1, 0 or 1. This ternary system is also referred to as a balanced ternary when the values are minus 1, 0 and 1 because the range of values is symmetric around 0. The ternary or trinary computer computing architecture offers various advantages like it is very efficient because ternary logic can represent information more compactly requiring fewer traits to represent the same amount of information as bits. For example, two traits can represent up to nine values from minus four through four in balanced ternary. If, but if you use two bits, that can only represent four values from zero to three. That's it. Now, of course, if less traits are being used, less energy will be used. So it is energy efficient. And then arithmetic can become quite easy, especially when we are dealing with lot of complicated multi-dimensional matrices which are used in uh, large language models then if we can simplify that arithmetic with the help of this ternary then it becomes quite fast and simple to implement now that is where the real magic happens because then we won't need these complex architectures so hopefully some companies will go ahead and do some impl implementation because this is doable and that is why it becomes so exciting and this paper is very very amazing because it introduces this new paradigm for llm quantization which means ternary weights for linear layers minus one zero one resulting in removing the need of having multiplications in matchable plus int eight activations it seems that this method as of now cannot be used as a post-training quantization method but rather train a 1.5 bit billion from scratch. I think code will be soon available and I'll be really curious to see if the authors will share the quantized model on this um, hugging face or anywhere else and I'll be very happy to use it. I think it will be really good to see the open source of these models for future research and um, I think uh, just time is uh, the constraint here, I guess. Also, uh, I think that it will be really good to see this ap being applied to the existing LLMs because there are a lot of good LLMs out there in open source. So it would be great to have it in our existing ones like Llamas and Mistol and that sort of stuff. Now, uh, I think that um, 
one thing i would like to mention is that this could you know there could be some roadblocks there but the results so far are amazing for example if we talk about the method here the good thing is that they are adopting llama 2 architecture similar something similar to llama 2 architecture and they are replacing uh, nn linear with bit linear layer from bitnet they represent weights in 1.58 bit ternary values and they have trained models from 700 million to 70 billion and um, more on 100 billion tokens of red pajama data set and they have compared against equivalent trained llama model with same data also they have trained additional 3 billion model on 2 trillion tokens to compare with stable lm 3 billion and already the results show that 1.58 models equal or outperform unquantized model above 3 billion size and in my previous video i have gone into a bit more detail around um, what sort of Pareto improvement has been done and what exactly Pareto improvement did in terms of these 1.58 bits 1 bit LLMs so really really exciting uh, time and I think that ternary age is coming up in my humble opinion there is no denying it it is just a matter of time let me know what do you think about it and uh, whatever your thoughts are please share them in the comments and if you like the content then please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching